This is gonna be a big, big year for our young guns. I anticipate a lot of new guys getting into our lineup this season. Like, probably four or five <laughs> that we haven't seen quite before will be entering the lineup, so that's gonna be pretty hype, guys. Of course, you know the drill. Hit the like button. Help out to defeat the YouTube algorithm and whatnot. And apparently some controversy because I've been flying through seasons. There have been uh, some not-so-honest people with their predictions. And, uh, well, it was quite obvious after the, uh, the interesting winners uh, this last season who, uh, who those people were. So we'll, uh, we'll not read off winners this time. And we'll probably be you know, slowing the seasons down now, stopping at the deadline as we are now pretty much going to be getting towards competitive seasons. So, we're going to be slowing that down now, so I will get back into the uh, prediction readoffs, and I will be making the announcement after you see the lines to make your predictions at that point, as you should be doing. And I know some of you guys out there are honest, and I do apologize for if you did make an honest prediction, but I'm just, yeah, it's easier just to, uh, <laughs> just to, uh, to do this. Skip it for this uh, this season. Anyway, free agency. I've already gone ahead and offered uh, contracts to new scouts and coaches. What we're looking at now, I think we're going to be, I don't think we need to sign a single forward. I think we're pretty okay on that front. We got nine to Cylinder. Yeah, Delbo Bozo should make his appearance here. Bemstrom will not. Hold on. That was Rozovic, 10, probably 11, for, uh, yeah. Yeah, we are, we have, and prop, maybe even Horse Kako jumping up. So we'll have enough guys. Mies is going to be uh, CHL. He'll take one year of development because listed as depth. Defense is where we need the uh, help, if you want to call it that. Likely a top four guy to play with Yurchek. I don't think Matty Chuck's going to jump up and be ready for top four. If he is, we'll play him there and, and put the other guy down. So we're not going to get anyone incredible to pair with Yurchek. But he'll be at least decent. So we'll have that. Blankenberg could probably go down. Atard will be depth. Or start. Kanazko should move up like... If you're looking at who we want in our top six, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, sorry. And Blankenberg down. He's the depth piece, so we sign one and we should be good. At least I'm assuming Kanazko is going to jump up and be ready, as is Matty Chuck. I would be surprised if they aren't. And if they aren't, well, good Branson could fill in for one more season, essentially, in the NHL. Goaltender wise. We're going to need to move one, at least. And then maybe another one if Baresi is ready. So, 100%, we're going to move Lalonde right now for kind of anything. I'm hoping someone wants him, but I highly doubt anyone's going to want him. Unfortunately not. Okay, can I just get anything? I might just trade him for nothing, if it comes to that. Yeah. Okay. Let's trade him for future considerations. Do they not have anyone on the block? That sucks. <laughs> well. I'm just going to look for something... I'm hoping that they, like, someone has someone on the block here in these trash things, but they may not. I guess they won't. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait. Tan. Playmaker. Don't really need him, though. Ah, you know what? Like, I can use some AHL if I need to. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, signed for unsigned may not work. I guess I could try it. 
Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so just get rid of that guy. What? Holy shit. Wow. Really? Oh, if he had one year left, I'd do that. Uh, well, crap. Is that Paton thing? I don't think Paton will work, then. Nope. We'd have to, like, send something. Oh, my goodness. Really? I'm actually kind of surprised. So, this not work? <laughs> I'm, like, trying to send him across for just a junk person, and that may not even work here. I mean, I, I could just sit with him scratch. Like, I guess it's not the end of the world, but... I guess I'll try, like, one more thing or so, and if it doesn't work... Oh. Yeah, okay, we're gonna not be able to do that unless I move two of them. And I could, I could wait to do that. I, I guess I could do that if we see if Baresi is indeed ready for a backup roll. Then we could probably move two guys at once. And unfortunately, we would have to move Lanin in. Because I'm not going to move on from Tarasov or Saprikin. So, yeah, we'll just end up doing something like that. Anyway, all right, let's let's uh, let's go after the top four that we were looking to get. May pay a bit extra as well. Or top four who could also be something else. So let's see here. McCabe, like an 82. Wow, my goodness, he wants a lot of money. That's fine. I mean, we can obviously afford it. Probably something like McCabe. Oh, yeah, solid defensively. And we could play him down if we need to. It wouldn't be that bad at an 82, but we could also play him in the top four. He won't decline. This is probably the best bet. I'm going to pay him like six mil for a year because why not? All right, so Jake McCabe. That'll be the guy we pick up. We may be a bit short on forwards in the AHL, but I don't really care. Uh, no, let's not sim to next season yet. I think that's all we're going to need. I can't... can't really recall anything else. Let me clear this off. I guess I could check and do a rough count on the forward situation, but we should honestly be fine. I'm looking at just the sheer number of players that I have. And so many guys will be coming off there. Um, ba -ba. Whatever. <laughs> their, their thing. Exemption! There we go. So many guys that were exempt will not be. Okay. New goalie coach. That's all we needed. All the other coaching roles are filled. More scouts and stuff. McCabe did sign. We saw the morale notification. Your check extended. Was that it? I thought we had. Yeah, line A extended. And that's it. All right, one thing. I will I will do a rough count on forwards who are likely to play somewhere. Either AHL or what have you. It's a nine to Cylinder. Catton's going to be exempt. Oh, and also... Misa. Uh, so that's 7. 16 to Dumay. Twenty-four. That doesn't leave any room for that, so I guess I could use a couple of guys. Is everyone else Yeah. Okay. I'll get maybe just like one forward. Just because I don't want to overdo it. Well, I could get two, actually. Let's see. Let's see. Let's even see if anything good's available. Not really. Neighbors, 78, 23. Not the greatest defense. Bocage already has an interest. Ugh. Terrible. Udi, didn't I have him? Yeah. Edmund, there we go. I like Edmonds. Let's give him a couple-year deal. 
I'm just looking at possible like role player dudes, essentially. Oh, there's two foodies. <laughs> Which one did I have? Neither of them a good defense, so it could have been either. Yeesh. No wonder they're all in the free agency. I could get like a playmaker or something like that too. Like just to to carry some offense, but there wasn't anything incredible. Yeah, we know about him, he's garbage. Oh, 56. Yikes. This is much tougher than I thought it would be. <laughs> There we go. That's isn't great on face-offs, but for the AHL, it should be fine. Uh, I'll only do like one year for him, though. Okay, that should be good. Let's advance a couple more days here. Make sure they get under contract. All right. And that should do it. Just make sure my scout number is correct, because I didn't... Yeah, okay, good. All right, so everything done in free agency. A couple extensions, some guys signed. We should be above cap floor. Yep. Okay, time to sim up and get a look at what these lines are going to look like. All right, so these tentatively are going to be our starting lineups here for this season. Goodrow, Bedard, Line, of course. Johnson, Del Bobozo, and Kako is our second line to start now. We can make some switches. If uh, I'm going to try him to start him on the second line, they also have second power play. But we can always do this or something. Interestingly, they won't get chemistry on the third line together, even though they got all those X. That's weird. Really? Hold on. If I exit and re enter, will they still not have chemistry? Okay. Well, I'd rather them have chemistry, so obviously I'm going to start him here. Um, interesting. I'll have to. Tinker around with that and see if maybe... Oh, Shinikov. Oh, I could always move... Horse Kako there. And keep Shinikov to maybe boost that up. Would that work? Yeah, okay, okay. I could, I could do that. Move up. Or even though I want to move up. Eh, they're both listed as third line. Doesn't really matter, I guess. So we could do that. Um, If we're not too happy with them on the second line. Or we think they would grow better on the third. But we're going to start them on the second. See, if they do well, I'll keep them there. Um, anyway, see, so yeah, Marchenko, Sillinger, Shinikov, Texier, Roslevic, and Robinson, fourth line. They do have a minus one, but it is what it is. Sent down Olofsson. Just don't have room. Prioritizing, obviously, the younger talent. Wierenski, Bokfist, McCabe, and Yurichek. Now, we do have Matty Chuck right here, but he's listed as top six at an 82. So, we'll keep an eye on him. If he changes the top four, we'll put him there in place of uh, McCabe. ASAP. But Kanazko made it too, man. 23-81. I don't know. Uh, he might get caught in no man's land. I could, I, I could stunt him to make him stay at a top six. But, eh. Still got two years on that, really. Yeah, it, it wouldn't make a whole ton of... He, like, he could still grow in the AHL. People do that all the time, even if they're out of their roles and stuff. We've seen it happen. I mean... Yeah, we've seen like 81s jump to like 85s, even though they're listed to be NHLers, so. Yeah. All right. Power play one. Sillinger, Bedard, Goodrow, Bulk, Visalina. Yes, I have Sillinger in here because, again, I want to keep the other two younger guys. Rolls a bit more limited. Goodrow passing, Bedard finishing, Goodrow also puck carrying. The second power play. Del Bobozo net front. Kako. Johnson, Warinsky, Matichuk. And of course, Kako finishing double Bozo puck carrying. Johnson distributing. So that's that. Four man, no one cares about. Penalty kill. I pretty much left the f uh, the four man PK up to what EA said. And that's what they said. Three man, I did make one single change. Defense is going to be the same. But I put Del Bobos in here. I know he gets a minus two, but with his face offs. And being a power forward and all. Put him on the three man. So that's what we're doing there. Extras. It's going to be 
pretty much oh almost the same as last season. Bedard Goodrow with Boak Viswarenski, Johnson lining, but we got Matichuk, <clears throat> excuse me, playing the higher role in the four on four, but there's more space. You want the OFD. Johnson Line. And then Delba Bozo and Kako with McCabe and Kanasko. Three on three, same forward pairings and Bokfist, Wierenski, and Matichuk. Uh Goodrow and nope. Um, it's going to be Johnson because we're on separate lines. A couple playmakers coming in. Shootout. Yeah, I don't really need to touch that. And of course, goaltenders, Merzlikens and Tarasov. Stenlin and Tarda's depth. I'll show you the AHL. I got to trade uh, Lainan and Lalonde now at this point. I know Lainan is quite good, but there's no real space for him because obviously... Want to prioritize some other stuff. We got everyone in there with any sort of potential or role filling. Angle, 74, low 9, nah. Laying in and Lenat and Bernie, 25, 7, nah. And of course, good Branson sitting. But everyone else playing in there has uh, some potential. Or I prefer them in there. One of the two. Okay. I should be able to package both of these guys. Lane and and Lalonde. I have to, have to basically find a team without a lot of goaltenders. There you, well, there's got to be a team with. Like, see, there you go. Only three goaltenders. They always do that. Arizona seems like the te team to deal with. Just get a pick back. Can't get a three, but I'll try. No way. Maybe a four and a five. Probably not. Just give me a four. I don't really care. Really? <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, just give me something, man. What? I can't even get a five for those two? How about two sixes? Look at me nickeling and diming this crap. Oh my goodness. Just give me something. Just a bit low. Really? Wow. Okay. Watch this not go through either. What the fuck? Just fucking fine, dude. I don't care. Take him. Holy shit. Pretty much got ripped off there. That's a future backup right there and laying it in, but I don't care. I just, just had to get rid of him. Uh, yeah, we have way too many picks this year because this is... I think we have to go back to nine and only two in the first two rounds and we have a ton of picks, but that'll give us a lot of flexibility to move around the draft. And considering where we might be, considering where these picks might be, this could be, that could be a very good thing for us. So we can hold on to them. We just can't draft with any more than nine and three in the first two rounds as we did have three drafts and we are now into the new uh, draft pick restrictions. So there we go. And I mean, goddamn, look at this. We've drafted quite well. Hopefully Blow gets his growth, man. He's in the top two, so yeah. Anywho, we're ready to go. We are ready to go. I have n that seems like a bot. <laughs> I don't think I have any extensions either. I'm just double checking. Nope. All right. Let's do. Th oh no 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 no! Need to assign my scouts. Ah, I caught myself before I started this time. Okay, now the scouts are all moved to where they need to be, and I sh show you guys this uh, my template because uh, I didn't yet. I'll do this once every franchise mode. I do two in every major league, so two in Russia, two in the Liga, two in the SHL, one for each European league, Ice Extra Liga, NLA Dell. Don't worry about efficiencies; those will all go up after one year. Uh, USA East, USA West, two in the Central, two in each CHL league. So there you go. There's my amateur scouting. We're ready to go now. Let's go. Get this first little bit done. We'll check in on Del Bobozo and Horse Kako. They want Olofsson. Uh, like, I wouldn't mind. But I also need him at this point. Because I'm using him and we don't. We only have one other forward down there. Until, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? 
<laughs> they were trying to trade our picks before, now they're trying to trade our roster players. What? What, what is up with the freaking assistant GM shit? So weird. Alright. Exit out of all that crap. We can still trade Olofsson at some point. Towards the end of the year. We'll see what happens. We could absolutely suck this season. That's a real possibility. We made our team much better, so I wouldn't put it past the sim engine to make us suck. Yep, scouts are already assigned. One and one to start. All right, three and two. Starting to pull ahead. Offense starting to kick in. Two shutouts in a row. Wow. Oh, of course. Olison goes down. As I said, we do have one depth forward. Kurt Angle. Get in there, sir. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, my God. I hate it. One day, sub in all lines will work, but it is not this day. What? Don't tell me. Okay. What? It's literally fine? That looks good to me, game. Oh, fucking. Do me, do me, do me. <laughs> fucking play. I don't care. I got like no one here anymore. Yeah, do me is cool and shit, but. All right, switch back. Now exit. Twice. All right. Oh, it's, and, but it still does the calendar thing. God damn it, this game sucks. Olufsen's back already. Well, it was like two days. Well worth it. Good year for rookies. We'll see. I don't, like, even though I did the correct thing, it still did the calendar thing where we can't see us simming along. How terrible. He was not actually out. <laughs> uh, Bemstrom is down. That should be easy enough. A center for a center, right? Won't do any cheese. Oh, it still did cheese. What? What? Is, is it just going to be the glitch? Nope. What? Wasn't that where... Olufsen was? Alright, it's too... That was a hundred... What the fuck just happened? Was that not where I just subbed him in for Olufsen? And now the strategies are all screwed. I just don't care. I could best lines, but it's going to screw up where my, uh... No, now it's, like, Olufsen's not... I don't even know what's happening. Whatever, dude. I don't care enough. Olufsen can kick rocks. I did the thing where I didn't switch it, so it's going to be all screwed up now. Well, we're having plenty of injuries here. Still this is depth. 14 points, 10 goals. Only 12 for Del Balbozo. I don't think Stenlund's or he's gonna be great on face off. Eh, he's got 75. Yeah, that's why I got him. You can kind of go anywhere. Throw him in. All right, stop the sim so we can actually see what's happening. Here we go. 10, 9, and 2. Not tremendous. We got a lot of shutouts though. Four shutouts. Line A's leading in points. 22 points. We're tied for third ish. So in a weak division, we can probably make the playoffs. Well, 2-8-1, need more goals, but look at that defense. Eesh, power play's not doing so hot. Jesus Christ, many of our defense is out of this world. McCabe solves everything. Speaking of which, we're going to check on how everyone's doing here. Let's see how the points are going. 22, 21, 18, Johnson with 15, Kaka with 14. He hadn't been points since we last checked. Double up with 12. Maybe there wasn't many games when we last checked. They're plus players. They're honestly not doing too bad. Question is, would they do better? Nope. Wait. Oh, that's... Oh, that... that Ah, oh, that really excited me. I thought I clicked on Kako, but no. We'll check growth after the next month. If they haven't grown, I might send them down. Not a whole lot of points from the back end. Or any. Merzlikens decided to kill it this season. Interesting. 
quite a few rookies, as you can see. Okay. Yeah, offense being a bit down does kind of suck. Let's go another month before we really mess with anything, obviously. We're going to get some scouting in as well, and then we'll be able to check out growth. Loss, Bemstrom is back. Alright, let's do some scouting here. See what's going on. We don't know where our other picks are going to end up, so obviously we're going to scout. Well. <laughs> As much of the first round as we can, I guess, and then target scout, but oh my god. Pretty, uh, pretty oofy. But this is where you can start seeing a lot more medium elites, especially in, like, late first round, but then all the other places where they can appear, too. So definitely still worth. Well, their own pick if we think it's going to be later, which it very well might. All right, we're starting to get in the top nine territory. That's a goalie, don't care. Oh, using 29, whatever, already clicked. 36, wow, that was a big jump to 110, interesting. Gonna check him anyway, but I have to hope that one ticks will provide a little bit more joy. As of right now, not a whole lot. Yeah, but being scouted, being scouted. God damn. Okay. Well, <laughs> not allowing me to click too much here, is it? I guess I should be thankful they're looking at the guys I wanted to look at, but you never know it's the scout if it's a scouting glitch or not either. But I didn't start simming, so it shouldn't have been all. Ah, who knows? Jesus. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot to do here. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, perfect. There we go. Oh, that guy's in a solid position. Come on now. Be a medium elite. Oof. Holy shit. All right, well, at least this guy's in an okay spot for a potential low elite. But, uh, <laughs> not a whole lot to do here in this first round of scouting. My scouts pretty much got it covered for the most part. At least we hope they do. They're probably looking at fucking, like, strengths and weaknesses or something stupid. If I did want one change of scouting, it's to, like, to prioritize the auto scout to, like, one of the things. Pretend and that's another thing. How, like, this is most of the, all right, the only, the two things that actually matter. Potential in comparison, playing style. Those are the only two. Strengths and weaknesses, skills assessment, character assessment. They don't really matter. So, like, get rid of them. Or, or if you don't get rid of them, just give us an option to, like, tell Auto Scout to prioritize those two things or something like that. Like, potential in comparison and then second priority play style. That'd be great. That'd be great. I'm just going to click on this guy anyway. It was pissing me off. My goodness. Oh my god, dude, they're just all not in range. That guy's even out of range for low elite. Oh my god, okay, that was the most uneventful first round of scouting I think I've had in a while. Go cylinders are fully healed. want to see some jumps this next time around, man. Those damn depths. Oof, good scoring. Okay, we're starting to fall off here. I don't think he was out, but he's a major, major piece, so I'm gonna... No. Oh boy, we are falling off here. Very hard. Mild concussion for Matt. Ooh, I forgot to check. This is a good time to check anyway. Well, I can't, because he's injured. Lol. Atard will hop in. 
Now I still listen to stop six, so playing him in the correct role. Come on, jumps. Was he... <laughs> I can't remember. No. Oof. Alright, Matichuk's back. And get him back in. Fifteen, sixteen, and two now. We kind of got better, but we're in seventh in the division, so... Bedard's leading points with 37 and 33. I'll check personal stats again. I don't care too much about team stats. Doesn't look like we're going to have that good of a year. Bedard, 37. Goodrow, 32. 32 for Line A. 32 for Johnson. 26 for Horsecock. Man, I can't move him off these li off this line, dude. They're plus players. They're producing points. He's up to third line, and Horsecocko hasn't moved, but goddamn. Look what he's doing. He's, got nine, he's the leading goal scorer on the team as a rookie. Can't really move him now, can I? Though the second power play unit isn't doing tremendously, I'm still just going to keep him there. Bulkfist has got some points now. Some minuses throughout. Weirdly, they're on different pairings. Yeah, your check is playing with McCabe, and that difference of plus minus is crazy. Whereas Licken still has a 915, but he's been steadily dropping. Tarasov, not the greatest backup of all time, we'll say. Horse Kako could be in the running for a Calder. You know, definitely see that happening. Okay, not bad. But let's check out growth here. This is... Uh... Okay, he's got natural and... His face-offs went up! Shit, man. Let's go. Del Bubbos is the next guy really mad. He is getting some natural growth. Not a ton, but a little bit. And I don't see any from Horace Kako. That's unfortunate. But Del Bubbos is now listed as an NHL, or at least. So that we got that going for us. In the system, I'm just going to... God damn it, man. Misa and Katten are growing, which is great. Tron, however... I got, I got good teachers down there, man. He's in his role. Bro! So Preakin hasn't grown either. as a goaltender. Petit slow leads are growing. Not a ton of growth early on, though. I'm not even going to bother, like, clicking in on so many of these. Hey, shit, Rom's grown. Not a ton, though. Yeah, not the greatest growth here. Like, at all. At all. Hmm. Well... Let me check one more thing. I'm going to check team stats. So our goals did go up, but then the defense got way worse. Power play is not doing great. I'm just worried that I'm, like, stunting him somehow by playing him above his role, even though it hasn't always mattered. I'm just going to stay the course. He's producing like a madman, so it'd be kind of nuts to move him out. Let's stay the course here. We'll go up to the deadline. Hard for us to kind of win a bunch, but that's okay. One good streak could put us in the running again. All right, scouting time real quick. All right, continuing on here. We are in a playoff position now. Ooh, oh man, though. The, the losses. The losses, though. Matty Chuck, again injured, out to the 14th. Come on, man. Grow. You got 27 fucking goals. Kanazka's also minorly injured, but hanging in there.
There he is, fully healed. Oof. We're in second with this record. That's nuts. Uh. Damn. Now he's actually injured. Okay, tough to him to get all those injuries in a year like this, where we're hoping that he develops quite well. This is definitely slowing him down. Oops. Keep hoping. Keep looking and hoping, but... Come on, wins. Thank you. Still in a playoff position by five points. Okay, we're looking decent. I don't even know if this guy was out or not. We've had a, quite a few injuries, like, right... Oh, no. That was a f no. And Richie is still... I could put him back in and hope he doesn't get re-injured. Risky, but I'm... No, no, no. It's not, because I'm just going to get notified again. And it'll do the thing. Hopefully I can switch it back, and none will be the wiser. We'll see. Hey, it worked. Win. Okay. On a bit of a nice stretch here. No! But darn! March 12th. It's not too long, fortunately, but... Hey, hey. Is that real growth, or are you just fucking moraling me? It's all. It's not for super long, so... Stenlin can at least maintain... Is he listed as fourth? No, he still listed as depth. Why is he so morale down? That's weird. Oh, well. Ooh, tough. Oh, wait, no, that was a loss already. And then we get a point out of that one. 34, 25, and 3. We're in a playoff position. Second in our division, actually. Our division sucks. <laughs> I guess it's not the worst, but it's not great by any means. 71 points, 4 points ahead of the Flyers, and then Capitals, 4 points behind them. We are not locked in, but we're in a great friggin' position. Capitals need eight points to leapfrog us. And they still have to leapfrog another team, too. Let's see. 3-3-5 three, three, goals for, 2-8, 5 goals against. It's not horrible. Power play still isn't great. Penalty kill fell, came back down to earth by a lot. Damn, we've allowed a lot of shorties. Oof. But that's not horrible. Bedard doing his thing, 73 points and 61. Good draws over point per game, 67 and 62. Lining with 57. Johns with 49. Kaka with 46. 32 goals. Both, oh man, Del Bozo. I mean, he's listed as a NHL, at least, and he has grown in the role he's been playing in. It's not doing tremendous, though. But if he hits 20 goals, it won't be too bad. He's at least over 0.5 points per game, which isn't, again, horrible. Especially considering their power play unit really hasn't clicked much. And Horse Kako having 30 plus goals. Like, he, he could have a 40 goal rookie season. He can't get assists for shit, but I guess he doesn't need to. <laughs> Defensively, Bokvist has 37 points. Not bad. Plus, minuses have gotten a lot better. Merz Lickens keeps falling down, say, percentage wise. So, he was, he was, uh, he was just new boot goofing with us. He still is shit. And Bedard is injured right now, which is unfortunate, but it said March 12th. And I mean, yeah. He'll miss, what, three more, three more games, maybe? So, not the end of the world. We can keep Stenland's ass in there. We have a comfortable thing, but the question is, if we move at the deadline, or make any moves at the deadline, playoff experience would be good. Can't lie. Ooh, Delba Bozo's battling through my energy. Yeah, the end of this year has been uh, tough for us. Misa. As long as he gets an offseason jump, he should be ready. But, if we go by overalls here. I don't know, man. It's tough to, like, add. Yeah. The only thing I would add was like a goaltender.
And I, honestly, I haven't liked Tarasov as the backup. I'm going to be real. Like, actually, last season he was good. But this season he's not. Sorry. Yeah, last season he was indeed good. Didn't get the points I wanted, but his numbers were really solid. So I'm not ready to give up on him yet. We are going to be a playoff team. So what we could do is be like, guys, we may not use long term. We can shed, but I just, I don't even. Ooh, Rot, wow. Rozovic's demoralized to shit. Maybe, maybe we do have to move on from him. And honestly, I will. Cylinder's completely pushed him out of the way. And he's better in every single category. Yes, Rot Rozovic can be somewhere else. But he's also 29 at this point. Maybe we move on for Rozovic, get a better guy for the fourth line. That's an option. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Switching starting goalie at this point. I don't know if that's smart. We can trade Merzlikens next season. Or just hold him out for the duration. Unless... Unless Baresi jumps up enough to be, like, a starter. I don't know if he will. I'm hoping he does. That'd be great. I don't know if he will, though. So, we got some options uh, and of some moves to make here at the deadline. Let's check progress reports once again. Goodrow starting to decline already. Interesting. At 32. Hmm. Very interesting. Slightly concerning, given his contract. <laughs> Delbo Bozo. Okay, at least Kako's got some growth. Yeah, it was offensive awareness, his accuracy, defensive awareness. A lot of morale growth, too. So he is being boosted, but the f he is naturally growing in his role. It's not a ton, but he's naturally growing, at least. Definitely wanted more out of Delbo Bozo, but I think he'll still be fine. Okay. Well, Tron at least got a little offensive awareness and defensive awareness. Okay. Catton has a little bit. Not a discipline, endurance, fighting skill. Wow, buddy. And really breaking some new ground there. Misa, puck skills, nothing to his awareness, unfortunately. Shot powers going <laughs> Uh Okay. So Preakin hasn't grown. Glebov. That's the guy we picked up in the second, huh? Yeah, not a ton. Dume. Maybe ready for NHL next season. I don't know. Going to have a bit of a log jam here. Bufflin. Richie. Might crack the NHL roster. Patisse is the only one to really, really stand out growth-wise. Yeah. Everyone else is just kind of... Yeah, we don't have any big, big jumpers here. That's a bit unfortunate, I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping to see more. was really, really hoping to see a bit more. Hmm. Well, who knows? Who knows what will happen here? But we are at the deadline here, and as we said, we're likely to be a playoff team. There's options we could do to improve the team. Meanwhile, get rid of guys who we don't think will fit into our long-term plans. I'm not going to hear any trade good drove right now. We don't have a replacement for him. We're not going to take any more steps back. We don't really need to draft heavily anymore. I mean, you saw what we freaking look like in the system. We have a ton, ton of great potential guys. Some of them are already in, uh, in the lineup now. Others on their way and, you know, close to, close to entering. So, yeah. That's where we're at right now. Let me know what you think about the deadline stuff and all that. Hit that like button, of course, and I'll see you in the next one.